So this is the focus of the Savills Mesa 135 battery pack. Uh, this iron phosphor cells, BMS, cache, and other connection components. And the main part of a battery pack, the same group of grade A cells should be selected. So what is the same group grade A cells? Cell manufacturers will uh, sort the cells by voltage, uh, capacity in, and the internal resistance, etc. Uh, for example, the same voltage, the same uh, capacity, and the same resi internal resi resistance cells will be sort sorted one into one group, and others to be grade B cells. So grade A cells are comes with uh, high consistency, and grade B cells are actually unqualified cells with hidden risks. Uh, grade B cells also including used cells that was toned down from uh, UV. For LiPo4 cells, the cell surface is, ne is neither neg negatively charged or positively charged. Taking this cell as an example, uh, this cell surface is negatively charged. So when DIY a battery pack with these cells, we should pay attention to uh, the insulation between two cells using this uh, explosive sheet. Then the BMS. BMS provides voltage, current, and temperature protection and warming. Uh, it also has uh, other functions like equalization, current limiting, recharging, communication, and uh, vo voltage compensation uh, functions, which could effectively uh, prolong the service life of a battery pack. And the case, for metal case, isolation should be kept into consideration. And also the clearance and the creepage distance should be ensured. Okay, next we'll have Aaron to assemble uh, the mason battery pack for us, step by step. Okay, first uh, we should install the handle first. And then stick the explosive sheet around the metal, metal case. As we mentioned before, for cell and case in insulation. Then stick a EVA tape onto the battery cell. Uh, for the force and cells, both sides should be sticked. Put all the uh, cells into the box like this, according to the diagram. Okay, then fix the front plate with the screws. Then connect the uh, cells with uh, connect the cells in series with uh, aluminum bus bars. Place the bus bars in the right position. So this is Cyclos 48 volts, 100 mq, 16 series smart BMS with CAN communication protocol. And this is the wire harness. Uh, there are 18 voltage wires and four temperature wires. Uh, usually for 16 series BMS, it has 17 uh, voltage wires. For cycle 16 series BMS, uh, we added a voltage compensation wire between the ace and the nice cells. So it comes with 18 voltage wires. And for each connection, we upgraded the wire harness into this PCB board. Stick a EVA tape onto the top bracket for PCB board protection and fix the PCB board on the bracket with screws and fix the whole unit onto the box. PCB A on the left side and PCB B on the right side. Remember to have the connect connector side on, on the front, front side. Get the voltage wires connected with each battery and the temperature wire was recommended to connect to the cells with different positions. Get the BMS installed onto the front panel and fixed with screws. 
and then the LCD screen and battery terminals. Get the BNS bus bars installed. First, we need to remove the screws. Get all the P positive terminals connected with MC6 bus bars. And all the P negative terminals with MC7 bus bars. All B positive terminals with MC5 bus bars and MC4 bus bars. All B negative terminals with MC3 bus bars. Get LCD screen wire and BMS wire connected. The button cap and LCD screen sticker. Get the front panel unit to the place. And uh, when connect the battery pack with the BMS, we first connect the battery negative and then the PCB B connectors, PCB A connectors, last the battery positive. Then we need to add the torsion to 5 Newton meter for the cell connection using adjustable torque wrench. Stick the transparent sticker onto the inner side of the top cover. Press and hold the reset button to power on the battery. And we'll get into the testing process. Battery pack internal resistance test. And then capacity test. So for more testing results, please contact us.